viewers and subscribers welcome back again on this platform where you get undiluted truth forward march to emo state as the fight to liberate emo lives from the shackles of apc wicked government i must tell you that the governor of emo state has taken this fight to another level and the people are crying <laughs> What's your name? My name is uh, the Don't worry, don't worry, don't hold the mic. My name is the Connor. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we we are told just one one faithful morning that uh, uh, caterpillar have entered our wall to crush our farming uh, everything we did last this year for farming even last year even the yams the poultry the fence the palm trees all that we have I am a widow. Many of us are here. Yes. This is the only land we used to feed our children. This is the only land we used to train our children in school. Many of us are in, in universities. Many of us are doing one thing or the other. Many of us do not we do not have any other means of livelihood. I understand that uh, where you plant your ovary, you are getting the end It was crossed, crossed. Even the police. Even the police use a tear gas on us, on us, many of us. Many of us we are pushed down. Many of us we are brutalized. Many of us we are we are we are you know given inhuman treatment. treatment. Can you imagine this arrant nonsense? This level of political rascality if you have done so much as a governor for four years would you need this kind of intimidation to bring yourself back into power the answer is no everyone knew the level of criminal activities that have brought insecurity situation in Imo state they have brought Imo, Imo lies to their knees using faceless agents of political thuggery criminal elements that had imposed hardship through insecurity on the state they are now unleashing shame changing their their nomenclature to attack labor party office What you want to know that Labour Party is under attack in Nemo states. How put the Nemo sent his dogs and police to come and attack us. They were here in the morning because of the signage that we put in our office. We agreed that we are going to come by one o'clock. One o'clock, we are heading to the office. Behind us, they reinforced with dogs, measuring more than 500 and police up to 50 to come and attack Labour Party office. Let the whole world know that Hobbes Adema has declared war 
on Labour Party. He has declared war on the Malays. He has declared war on the Nibo. This will not go unanswered. Yes. Mahmoud Adema, you have stopped sleep. You will not not sleep. You have fought war with the Labour Party. When we have not fought you, you will go down a disgraced governor in Nibo. Yes. 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 You will go down. You will go down. You will go down. Listen, we will not allow this to continue. Yes. Yes. No more intimidation. Yes. No more oppression. Yes. The opposition must leave. Yes. Yes. Abu Zadema, you are defeated. Yes. Yes. Today has marked the beginning of his downfall in Imo's face. Yes. Look, so Look at the flags of Labour Party. Look at our office demolished by talks from Abu Zadema. Imo Let everybody prepare. It is not a, an attack on Labour Party office. It is a, an attack on emo lights in general. It is an attack on all political parties in emo in emo state. As I speak, and I want to tell you, if you succumb to this intimidation, <laughs> you know what will happen in the next four years if the hopeless situation in emo state continues. You know what will happen? First of all, I will keep advising on Nemo State. Whoever tells you go, don't vote, don't participate. Now, you have realized what I've been saying, that it is being sponsored by the same LPC. They don't want you to vote so that they will remain in power. And some people will tell you in the name of anything they are agitating for, that you must not vote. That is the making of our enemies who have captivated or captured the, some of the mistake we've made as a people by sponsoring this narrative that you should not participate in political process in Biafran land. It's a very big blunder and they have hijacked it and now using it in the most vicious in the most wicked manner let me just tell you don't make that mistake in fact this is time for you to fight you can only fight to liberate yourself through that political revolution not election political revolution it must be a ballot revolution before it will succeed it must be a ballot revolution before it will succeed it is not going to be a business as usual election where some of you will go you just a handful of people will come out to vote. You have up to, um, you start scrambling for vote between 50 to 100,000 votes. If you have 1.5 million votes for the choice candidate of the people, massively coming out to fight and defend that vote, there is no way that hopeless situation will return back to Imo State uh, power. There is no way it will happen. It will never. So, it's up to you. Mine is to speak the will and the mind of your ancestors in Imo State who have fought in the past for your survival. I speak for them. Listen to it. Share this video. Because if you make that mistake, you will be worst off in Nigeria. You're already very worst in the Southeast. But you'll be worst off in the entire country if that hopeless situation continues in Imo State. Help me share it. If you know any emo light, you know. If you know any emo state platform, share this video to them and let them know what is at stake. Gather all your PVCs and get ready for this fight. Let me talk. If you don't want to, it is your business. But when it starts happening, don't come wailing on the social media. They are killing you because you are the cause. Please help me share this. I think I've delivered this message to everyone. Bye-bye for now. You can drop your comment on the comment section. Let's have your opinion on this.